Well, there's a critical shortage now for blood types across the country and blood banks only have about 25% of the daily needs in stock. The South African National Blood Service needs 3,000 units of blood to be donated daily. Well, Vanessa Raju is the spokesperson of SANBS and she joins us in studio now. Good afternoon, Vanessa, and thank you for your time on the PM News Desk. Thank you for having me. Vanessa, how desperate is the situation right now? How long will the stock you have uh, last? Are we talking a matter of days, uh, hours, weeks? We're speaking of one day. So if people mm. aren't coming through today to donate blood, by mm. tomorrow morning we'd have no blood available in the country. And this is as serious as the crisis is right now. Mm -hmm. well, uh, why is it that donors are not coming forward uh, at this part of the year? Is it something that's seasonal, Vanessa? We often find during the exam breaks and school holidays that the collection levels drop drastically. Mm -hmm. And this is because the schools and university drives are not possible. But as you know, it's going to be the fourth term. It's a, a term where schools and students are busy with exams. So blood drives are almost difficult to host. And mm -hmm. companies themselves who do host blood mm. drives, their employees are obviously busy with closing up mm. for the year. So we have less and less accessibility to our donors. So the plea is really to, to the donors to make time to come through mm. to mm. us. Mm. Uh, Vanessa, securing and maintaining uh, a safe blood supply in the country uh, with one of the highest HIV infection rates in the world uh, is a constant challenge to your organization, I'm sure. Uh, uh, take us through your blood safety strategy. Well, we have very stringent str strategies in terms of recruiting our donors. The minimum requirements is that they need to be between 16 and 65, weigh right. a minimum 50 kilos, and obviously be in good health and live a sexually safe lifestyle. Mm. Once the blood is donated, we, s we screen it, and it's tested for HIV, um, syphilis, and uh, hepatitis B and C. So these tests are done on every single unit of blood every time a donor donates. And this is one of the, we are one of the few countries in the world who actually do stringent testing in that manner. All right. Uh, SANBS encourages uh, donors to give blood for purely altruistic reasons, uh, solely for the sake of helping others. Do you feel your campaigns right now are having the desired momentum on the ground? Well, through the year, we have we are, have periods where the blood stocks are safe and we are quite happy with the response from donors. Mm -hmm. But as I mentioned, we find that if we do not make ourselves accessible to donors, donors really don't make blood donation a priority in their lives. You know, someone doesn't wake up on a Saturday morning and decide, I'm going to drive over yes. to a blood donor center and donate blood. And I think this is where we'd like our donors to reach. If, we, if you can't find an accessible donor mm -hmm. center to you at your workplace or at your organization mm -hmm. or at your school, to find out where the fixed donor center is. And we also host mobile drives in shopping centers mm -hmm. to make it more convenient. Mm. Uh, tell us quickly, Vanessa, what's the blood type that's most in need and why? When we go into a crisis, we often speak about a shortage in the O blood group. Mm -hmm. uh, an O blood donor is generally a universal donor. So in emergencies, the demand increases for the O blood type. So at the moment, we have 1.3 day stock, as I speak to you, mm -hmm. for, of O blood group. Yes, and the clock is ticking fast there. Uh, tell us quickly, who can and cannot donate blood? What's the criteria one looks at? As I mentioned, the minimum criteria is that you have to be between mm. 16 and 65, weigh a minimum of 50 kilos, and obviously be in good health. We have other reasons why one might be deferred, and this might be based on your chronic medication, or you may have traveled to a malaria area that would defer you mm. for a period. They, and all of these criteria that we defer our donors are based on the safety of the donor and the blood quality for the patient that might receive it. So we often get donors who might be a little despondent that they were deferred, but it's obviously for their safety. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Vanessa, for your time on the PM News Desk. Vanessa Raju, the spokesperson for SANBS on the PM News Desk with us.